back with Andy Tudor this morning from Nexus Minerals. Andy, morning. Morning, Andrew. Look, some great results, Andy, out this morning from you. Uh, significant new regional gold discoveries. So I see you've uh, you've actually named a couple of these uh, these prospects, which is unusual for Nexus. So it must be significant. Uh, firstly, Payne's and Godfrey. Uh, just tell us a bit more about these two. Yeah, the um, look at fantastic results. We, we expand. You always want them. Yeah, you know, better and better results. You always want them to be better, but they certainly um, have met and exceeded our expectations in a first pass um, of three out of the four prospect areas to get these sorts of results is quite astounding. So the, the exploration team, you know, give uh, uh, credit where it's due. They do a brilliant amount of work in the background to then get out there and execute these drill programs. You know, that's the advantage of being well funded. You know, we raised you know, $4 million just over that a few months ago with the aim to get on the ground and get into these prospect areas. And uh, that's what we've immediately done and, and had this kind of success. We've been wanting to get here for a while. So, you know, we've got these five mineralized corridors, you know, MC1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then within the, each of the mineralized corridors, you know, as we test each of these new prospect areas, they get a dot one, dot two, dot three. And as we need it, if they need more work or we're not quite sure what where we are or whether we're happy or not or, you know, the extent of them or whatever the case may be, they stay a number. But really, once they've moved to significance, um, of which these two have, so Paynes and Godfrey certainly um, have warranted the, their naming and um, and have produced some fantastic results. So, Andy, just on Paynes and Godfrey, give us a bit of detail on what's been learned here. Yeah, the um, uh, Paynes, which is a combination of uh, MC 5.1 and 5.2. You know, we drilled MC 5.1 in the last program in July, and then we moved about 600 metres to the east um, and drilled 5.2. And, you know, okay, stonking results. I mean, you don't get fours at five, six, sevens and eights within, you know, tens, twelves, 16 metres at 2.74. I mean, these... The numbers just roll off. You know they are they are quite astounding results, but I think it's the you know the location is good. You know the fact of the the, the rocks and the mineralisation that we're seeing in the eastern side of MC five point one, we've now moved to the east and on the western side of five point two, we're starting to see obviously some fantastic mineralisation. The rocks, the alteration, and so hence they, they've joined together. So we've roughly got sort of seven hundred and fifty metres of, of east west scale. Don't know north south yet, but it's all about you know up there we're looking for okay scale which we've got, and we're also looking there's a big fold nose that wraps around the southern side of a large intrusion up there, and, and that's what we're looking for. And and as you get closer to these fold noses, historically you know, have an increase in iron, which can be twofold, it can make it harder to air core drill, but the fact that you're getting that sort of iron in the system is a fantastic signature of, of what we're looking for and getting closer, I suppose, to that. Fold nose, which is where you also have the increase in grade because you know, there's a trap site, so it gets caught in these fold nose locations. So we feel pretty happy with that. On top of that, we had an increase in quartz girthite veining. Um, you know, we had an alteration of cerocyte, rutile, tourmaline, and particularly albite, which is a regional high grade gold signature. And that's throughout this Karasu Basin. Um, you're really looking for that as an alteration. And you know, once the boys started seeing that coming out of the ground into the chip trays. Um, it was hard to sort of contain their uh, their excitement. It was uh, quite astounding. And then you add to that, you know, some heavily hematized um, porphyry intrusions, these red rocks. So essentially, we started getting all of the right the right ingredients there. So hence, it's become pains. Um, you know, forty six of the four meter intercepts, you know, plus the bottom of holes, you know, all intercepted. You know, significant all grade mineralized width so um in detected grade so it's it's quite astounding just across the the, the whole picture of, of it so very happy with it um uh, godfrey on the other hand slightly different it's um 600 or so meters to the east of the crusader templar resource that nexus has you know 300 plus ounce resource and it looks very similar in the state of what Crusader Templar looked like in the early stages where you had an elongate 1,200 metres by 100 metre wide zone of mineralisation and really yeah, the grade, the style of mineralisation, pink porphyries all coming into the uh, the air core drilling. You know, so you've really got that extent. So once you get the scale as well as the grade, you really can start to say, okay, these, these, uh, these prospects are, are the real deal. They look fantastic. 
And Andy, you also tested two other prospects. Uh, these yet to be named. Just run us through these also. Yeah, so uh, two point um, two point one was um, immediately north of, of Northern Stars uh, Walbrook mine that they're they're currently mining at the moment. So similar style of mineralisation to what uh, what they're saying, obviously on, on their side of the fence. Um, but nothing had been done there, so we worked our way you know, to the north. Yeah, we did the first program there. This is now a follow up. And now we're within a couple hundred metres um, of a prospect that we drilled about four or, four, four or so years ago we've never gotten back to. Got some good results there, but in isolation, you know, we've just been busy with Crusader Templar and, and Branches, our other prospect that's that's fairly advanced. So we just didn't get back here. So now to get that sort of, we're starting to build that up to that scale now that we're looking for again. So it, it's getting to be a decent size. We're sort of 500 by 250 metres and it's starting to integrate these older drilling that we did with the drilling we've done now, but um, a bit more to be done there. But yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. And and one point five is a long way to the south, so it's about three k's to the south of everywhere we've been before. Um, and it's a slightly different style again. We've got this huge intrusive coming up, and we're on the edge of the intrusive. We've got embayments in the intrusive, as you can imagine, structural complexity there. Um, you know, when you're fourth, uh, I suppose in in you're putting in your importance on the front page, and you're fourth. Results are greater than 50 gram metres, you know, four at 10.95 within eight metres at 6.55. It just shows just sort of the significance of the others and how great they are that this one has to go forth. But again, probably down there, the 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 rock's particularly hard, you know, so the air core rig is is really only only uh, useful in, in softer material. You know, it's it's not meant to be able to drill this very hard rock. So, you know, the geos tried to move the rig around and, and find to get some extra extra penetration, but simply couldn't. So um, great results down there. There's obviously high-grade gold down there, but it'll need different uh, different follow-up work. Mm. And in terms of follow-up work, Andy, you're planning some additional air core, are you? Yeah, absolutely. Look, the, um, you know, the money we raised was to you know, go in the next 12 months and, and, and really flush out all of these regional targets, which we continue to do. So um, we'll get back up to uh, to Payne's, obviously, and, and flush that out, build out that anomaly and and see whether we can get to at least some sort of a uh, some boundaries around it, and then it'll be uh, ultimately then ready for uh, for an RC. But that that deserves another um, you know, solid air core program to work out what that 750 metres of width and what the, the strike looks like, um, and then we'll get over and yeah, follow up. The uh, um, Godfrey is really ready for for RC testing, so it'll get put onto the the spreadsheet ready to be tested when the RC rig comes out there. Uh, and 2.1, we'll expand that more, try and flush that out and work out where, what its extent is as well uh, first. And then 1.5 will get put into the uh, needs RC drilling because of that, uh, that uh, the hardness of the rock down there. So fantastic that you've got four prospects, you test them all, and they're all due for some sort of follow-up uh, yeah. with some fantastic results. So, yeah, can't uh, impress enough or express the the, uh, the positivity around uh, around these results. They've been fantastic. And look, Andy, you're in, in Noosa. You've got a company update out in a couple of days. You and I will be speaking a bit later on uh, in the week. Yep, look forward to it. And we'll uh, update then uh, yeah, everybody on the, uh, you know, the what the whole company uh, is up to as a, as a big picture on, on top of these, uh, these great exploration results. Yeah, speak soon. Andy, thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.